Hello, this is Eric with NEI. Today we're going to cover how to store Trimble TerraSync's field data to an SD card. That way on the PC or laptop, when using data transfer, we will set up a GIS folder option. One reason to do this is Microsoft, as of Windows 10, has stopped supporting Windows Mobile Device Center. And that is the key software that allows the GPS device to talk to the PC. So right here on my screen I have data transfer open. Right now it's disconnected. It says not connected here. If I try to hit the checkbox to start the connection, it'll just sit here and spin and time out. This is because of this creator update that Microsoft has released and some others since then that have stopped this tool from working. So a workaround from that is to store the data to an SD card. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fire up my GPS device. I'm going to put it on the screen so that you all can see it. So when you start up TerraSync, it always starts on status and skyplot. We're going to migrate over to data. And the big thing here is under location. If you've never used an SD card, the location will be default. If you put an SD card in there, we recommend the SanDisk anywhere from 4 gigabytes up to 32 should be pretty easy to find those cards in most stores these days and they should be pretty cheap alright I'm gonna store that to the SD card I'm gonna hit create and just go through we're gonna log one point feature so we'll have some data to transfer so this this file right now is being saved to the SD card and I'm just gonna log a point here I'm gonna store the point and then when it's finished I'm gonna close the file so now that data is stored to the SD card and what we're going to do is then pop the SD card out of the geo we will place the SD card in the computer on the geo the SD card slot is on the right side towards the bottom it says SD All right we'll give it a second here now it shows up on my G drive I'll open the file so you can see what's in here whenever we create a file in TerraSync you'll see eight files here with the same name it says eight files selected these different file types do different things but when you transfer they convert into what we call a tremble SSF file so you need eight sometimes you'll see nine but for the majority you need all of these eight files .dd .gic .gip .gis .giw .gix OBS and OBX. Those are the files you need to complete this process. So you're going to bring up data transfer. Some may run right inside of Pathfinder Office. This will be under Utilities Data Transfer. Some of you may have data transfer installed by itself. That's fine. And what we're going to do when this is open is click on Devices and we're going to go down to the New button in the bottom left corner. We're going to scroll down to the GIS folder option and click on OK. Now we're going to browse straight to that new drive letter on my computer. So I'm going to close C up, go straight to my SD card on the G drive, and I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to click on Next. Now we have to choose a file type. Uh, TerraSync is our default and we want to use the latest version which is 345x click on next we're gonna give this a name I'll just call this TerraSync on SD card and click on finish now I have a new device in my list here called TerraSync on SD card and when I connect it should connect to that folder here moving forward it's always gonna be the same setup instead of Windows Mobile Device Center now called TerraSync on SD card you click on the add data file the only difference is you're gonna see .gis instead of .ssf if I hit open well, let me go back one step there's a destination folder in here you just wanna make sure that this destination is set correctly some of you may just put it to a folder on the desktop or on the on a server or something like that in this case it's going into my last used tremble folder 
and then when you're finished you hit transfer all so the workflow really shouldn't change the only difference is instead of plugging in a cable and connecting the active sync you're basically plugging in the SD card two things here to note the SD card is probably a safer bet as far as storing data and the second thing is active sync even though it was working in the past on some of the Windows 7 8 and earlier 10 machines sometimes it was slow to connect slow to transfer and with the SD card it's a much more reliable transfer option alright well, I hope that helps out if not I'm gonna have another video with some other options to transfer files not using Windows Mobile Device Center. Thank you.